We're talking about Doctor Who now. He turns 50 this week. The time and space traveller, very much a British creation, but the character is gaining increasing popularity overseas. American fans have been keen to join in the anniversary celebrations, nowhere more than the Way Station Bar in Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> PlayStation is a bar. It's very popular in the nerd slash geek community, uh, mostly because of the presence of our Lou, which has been designed to look like a TARDIS. Doc Wasabasco and I did the majority of the construction and build out uh, design and layout of the bar. And one night after a very long day of doing construction, he just kind of leaned over towards me and said, let's build a TARDIS. And we both cracked up. We're like, yes, that'll be awesome. We are inside the bathroom at the way station, and it is bigger on the inside. We get all sorts of people, comic book nerds, movie geeks, uh, Doctor Who fans, music lovers. They feel at home here. They feel welcome. In anticipation of the 50th anniversary, we have several local uh, venues prepared to also be screening it because we're going to have more people here than we can fit. Stephen Moffat and Matt Smith dropped by to watch the season finale with all the fans. I suppose it always seems as though there is a distance between the people who make a show and the people who watch a show. Uh, in the case of Doctor Who, there shouldn't really be because the people who watch the show became the people who made <laughs> It, it is a British thing, and it was a British thing for a very, very long time, and it did pick up uh, recently, and its, and its fandom in the U.S. seems to be building. I do think that people have decided to start embracing items from other cultures. I think Americans are very much a gun culture. I, I do think that at the end of the day, an American hero is going to pull out a gun, whether it's a laser gun or a real gun, and solve the problem that way. I do like the idea of the Doctor being a slightly pacifistic uh, intellectual hero. I, I mean, obviously we're dealing with fighting pepper pot robots and lizard men, but, but the idea of using your smarts and a, and a necktie to solve a problem is a lot more British than an American solution of, of a wife beater and a, and, a, and a gun. You know, it's about adventure, it's about possibility, and I think that makes people excited. What could happen, what might happen, heroes, that's all optimism. And when the world gets dark, it's very nice to embrace the idea of something fun and exciting and positive. There are some who are absolutely nuts about Doctor Who. It's been simulcast across the world this weekend. Are you a fan or could you not care less? Anyway, get in touch with me. Let me know your views. Perhaps you have a favourite Doctor. My address on Twitter is at BBC Nagger. It's always good to hear your thoughts. 